Hey. Um. Hi. Yep. Uh, well, uh, you find me here on the side of the road. Um, not dancing. Definitely not. Um, anyway, I'm going for a day trip today. We're going out to Wedge Point. Um, and we're probably about 20 minutes out. I've already driven a fair bit of the way. Saved you the time. Um, but let's get back in the car and go, hey. All right, so for those who have never been to Wedge Point before, let me just turn the aircon off for a sec. Um, when you get to the end, you'll realize, hang on, this is just a cul-de-sac. And, um, and that's actually what's around me, but hang on, I'll have to adjust. See, there's a cul-de-sac here. Anyway, um, basically the gist of Wedge Point is that there's a lot of shacks, there's a lot of little, little like sheds and stuff where people have basically claimed squatters rights, I think. Like pretty much just like, they're there, they're not going anywhere. All right, hang on, just gonna cut right here. It's actually not squatters rights. There's actually a whole bunch of like legal stuff and there's a lot of stuff going on with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the link here for the website and down in the description. Um, so if you wanna actually check out some information on it, there's a whole lot going on with it and it's too long to explain. But anyway, uh, back to the video. Woo. Um, so there's just a car park here and then a full drive track. So you can see this car now. Just currently, where, can you? So you can see just over here is a full drive track. And I've a tap, you can probably see it better. Anyway, um, so the gist of it is that you have to go through there to get to the beach to get to anywhere else. So most people would get really confused if they didn't know that. So that's why I'm telling you now. Um, I'm going to drive my car in a little bit. I'm not going to drive it all the way down to the beach because it's a high on dag cell and I would like to drive home. Um, afterwards, so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go in a little bit of the way and then I'll just park up, take my stuff and walk down to the beach. All right, so we have arrived. I've parked the car. Parked. Um, the sign's just that way and there's the full drive track just over there. I actually don't know if you can see it, but either way, um, the gist is if you have full drive, have, well, you don't even necessarily need a four-wheel drive. You can drive down, and that's the beach access point there. Um, I have actually taken my car down there before, um, my Hyundai XL, which was pretty funny. But uh, but I did it with mates and people who could actually pull me out, and I'm not going to do it on my own because, as I said before, I didn't actually need to get home after. So I'm just going to pack my stuff from here and uh, walk down. All right. I'm on, a, on one of the four-wheel drive tracks down to the beach, and you can kind of... You know, see why maybe you wouldn't take an Excel down here, um, but it's pretty cool. There's already some people out here with the boat. It's pretty specky. Um, not too, not too bad weather really. I'm actually not opposed to it. It's pretty nice down here. Pretty nice. So another bit of info for those who I um don't come out here or have never been to Wedge Point is the the point's really sandy, but there's actually an island. Uh, behind me, yeah, and uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, this time of year, you're not actually allowed to go in there, but when it's not nesting season for the random birds, um, you can get your boat out there or swim out there because it's not too far. You're just not allowed off the beach there um, because it's a wildlife preserve thing. So, pretty cool. I reckon I'm gonna get my stuff down and Go for a swim. All right, well, time for a swim. Well, I had an awesome swim. It's so nice out there. The water's like perfect temperature. The waves are beautiful. Seeing just the blue water is so beautiful. Um, and because of that, I reckon now's the best time to get the drone up before you get too many clouds because I know we've got some clouds coming in. So. Let's get it up, let's swing it around, let's see what we can do. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo, yeah!
Oh yeah, I had a sick swim. Oh man, it's so nice in there. The water's like perfect temperature for like a nice, cool, refreshing swim. It's nice and crystal blue. The clarity could be better, but it's awesome out here. I, I just love it. I can't, I can't wait to spend the, the rest of the day here just exploring, maybe going for another swim. I've got a couple other spots I want to show you. Um, so yeah, let's keep getting into the day. I've made a friend. This is Bill. I'd like you to meet him. He's right here. Come on, focus. Yeah, there he is. Hey, Bill. Looks good. You right there, Bill? You want some more food? I ain't got nothing for you, sorry. It's getting pretty warm sitting here. Might even uh, go for another dip, but uh, after that, we're gonna probably walk back to the car and check out another spot, another couple spots that I wanna show you. So, uh, pretty cool. I, I'm really loving this place. I think we're just such a nice place. I've come here and stayed here a few times, so. Okay, well, I'm back at the car, just eating snacks. I was eating snacks down at the beach at my spot, but um, then. Oi, Bill. <laughs> Bill, stop it. Oi, Bill. Get out of there! What have I told you, Bill? Actually, don't. No, That's it. No, I'm coming for you. No, no, I'm coming for you. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, just eating, eating here, and then driving off to the next spot. And uh, let's head straight there to show you. Hey. All right. Parked up. Um, just found somewhere and I'm walking down this random path. It's barely a path uh, to get to the next spot. Um, definitely not short on flies. I'll tell you that much, and I'm uh, just kind of hoping not to step on a snake. That's uh, the current goals. Hopefully they'll get more fun as we go along. <laughs> All right, I've arrived, and if you're like, Jake, where are you going? Like, I still don't know where you're going. Well, I'm gonna show you. We are, we are at the sand dunes. All you're gonna see is white, but let's go to the drone. how cool are these sand dunes it's so nice just to i don't know i love just being out here alone right now it's cool just having the whole dunes to myself um i'm a little bit bummed because i was meant to bring my boogie board um but that's okay i wanted to do some sandboarding i'll just jump off and see how high i can go <laughs> um apart from that we're probably gonna head home afterwards so let's go jump off some dunes while i'm still here all right ready we're gonna see how far i can go Forgot how tiring that is. Ah, the sun's so bright. Why am I looking at it? Ugh. Anyway, ooh, I think it's time to go back to the car because I made the oopsie move of not bringing any water. So I'm now dead thirsty and uh, still a bit of a walk back. So let's do it. All right. Well, I've made the walk back. Back at the car. Um, for those interested. Uh, and how to actually get to those dunes. Normally there's actually a full drive track that goes down near the tip from here, but you can get pretty close in the car. They're just over here. So it's a bit of a walk, but you can definitely do it. Um, I did it today and it was definitely worth it aside from all the sand on my neck that's now going to be there for the whole ride home. Yeah! Um, yeah, but I hope you uh, you kind of have a more of a rough idea of what the heck Wedge Point is after this video. Um, and maybe even want to come here because it's a pretty nice place. If you pick good weather, it's an awesome place to be, awesome place to hang out. Um, you know, take the boat out, go fishing, go surfing on a good swell, it's good. Um, but aside from that, I'm probably going to end this video. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video because, like... I can't wait to do the next one, so let's do it. Woohoo!